As just about everyone knows, the major game consoles are getting updates with the Sony PlayStation 4 and the Microsoft Xbox One. Now there will be plenty of awesome game titles for both the PS4 and Xbox One, but even if you're not into gaming, these systems might have something to appeal to you. After all, the PlayStation 3 was one of the first widely popular Blu-ray disc players, and the Xbox 360 was one of the very first home entertainment devices to offer Netflix's streaming video services. And the latest generation consoles have even more entertainment entertainment features to offer. Now both the Xbox One and the PS4 are fully functional Blu-ray players. Microsoft only supported DVD playback for the 360, but the Xbox One will finally make the jump to Blu-ray formats, and that means you'll be able to watch HD movies on your system of choice. Both systems will also have access to online media services like every other major gaming platform including handhelds. You'll be able to access Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant Video, and other services to watch television and movies and listen to music on either system. And they both will have access to large libraries of on-demand movies, TV shows, and music, but this is where they start to differ. On the Xbox One, you'll be able to rent or buy content from the Xbox Live movies and TV and music stores, but PS4 users will be able to rent or buy content from the Sony Entertainment Network and access to Sony's Video Unlimited and Music Unlimited on-demand services. Now, the Xbox One goes much further in home entertainment value with its television integration. The system has an HDMI pass-through and infrared blaster that you can connect to your cable or satellite box to integrate TV watching into the Xbox One. Now, we'll have to see how the Xbox One and Kinect works, to like as far as like Skype calls go, and switching apps and services, which is something that Microsoft has really been touting, and if this does work, this could really turn the Xbox One into the real killer in non-gaming applications, and makes it stand above the PS4 as a pure home entertainment hub. Those features come at a price though. The Xbox One already retails for $100 more than the PS4, and using online media services requires a subscription to Xbox Live Gold, which costs $60 per year. You can use all of the PS4's media features without subscribing to PS Plus, and the system itself retails for $399 to the Xbox One's $499. If you watch a lot of television and perhaps watch TV more than you even care about playing games, the Xbox One is a better bet, but if you're looking at games, these systems are pretty much evenly matched, at least for now. Please be sure to let me know which console you're going to be getting in the comments below, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!